Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Well, you can't accuse me of only playing one side. Earlier, I shared with you a computer model that's projected the New Orleans Saints to win 10.7 games this year. Vegas has them at 7.5. So whether it supports my feeling about the Saints or not, if it's relevant, we're going to talk about it. Now, that is a subjective, excuse me, that is an objective data-driven metric. This, what I have in my hand right here, is subjective. Uh, CBS Sports looked at all the projected win totals and gave best bets as far as over-unders. And the New Orleans Saints, uh, over-under at 7.5. CBS Sports projects them to go under their total, a projected total of 7.5. You can check that out uh, at cbssports.com. So under the total is the pick. They note that the Saints feel like a team floating in the ether. Dennis Allen absolutely on the hot seat. I'm reading here. They underperformed their win expectancy last year. They note that Camara has averaged less than four yards per carry and under 60 receptions per season over the last three years. They do note that the receiving core is fun to watch, but ultimately the Saints, they project under seven and a half. Um, you know, a huge benefit to the New Orleans Saints a year ago, and a big part of the reason why they went nine and eight are the quarterbacks they played. You might remember, we we did a, a segment on this show and clipped it, and it went viral. I mean, over two and a half million views on Instagram. And I was asking Muse to list the best quarterbacks in football, and everyone he mentioned, I kept saying, don't play them, don't play him. The Saints didn't play Mahomes or Burrow or Josh Allen or Justin Herbert. The, the best quarterbacks in the NFL, the Saints dodged them last year. And you even got luckier in the fact that not only did you not face Mahomes or Allen or Herbert or Hertz or Lamar Jackson, when you played Minnesota, Kirk Cousins was injured. You got Josh Dobbs and lost. When you faced the Giants, you didn't face Daniel Jones. You faced Tommy Cutlets. When you faced Chicago, you didn't have to face Justin Fields. You got Tyson Bajant, Bajant, whatever his name is. I had to write it down because I can never remember that guy's name. Exactly the point. So that was a huge benefit for the New Orleans Saints a year ago. Not only who they played, but who they didn't have to play at quarterback. Have you looked at, like we've looked at the Saints schedule. And the Saints, by opponent's win-loss record from a year ago, are tied with Atlanta for the easiest schedule in the NFL. And in part, that's the reality because you play in the NFC South. So you get six games against the NFC South and everybody stinks. You get two games against Carolina, which was the worst team in the NFL. Yes, that of course is going to skew things a bit. But as we run through the list like we did last year of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, have you looked at the list of quarterbacks the Saints do face this year? Here's your list. These are the quarterbacks you face this year. Bryce Young, that's a breather. Dak, Jalen Hurts, Kirk Cousins, Patrick Mahomes, a reinvigorated Baker Mayfield. You do get Stidham or Knicks, whoever Denver is going to bring in here, and you better win that damn game with Sean Payton coming back with those two chumps. Justin Herbert, Bryce Young again. Kirk Cousins again. Deshaun Watson, who, I mean, I don't know if what's going to happen there in Cleveland, him coming off an injury. But they paid him $230 million for a reason. Matthew Stafford, Super Bowl winner. Now, you get a break in the final five weeks because you go Daniel Jones, Jaden Daniels, rookie. You do have to play Jordan Love at Green Bay. Then it's the combination of O'Connell and Minshew with the Raiders. And then you get Baker Mayfield again. So the last five, you get a little bit of a breather except for having to go to Lambeau when it's going to be negative eight. But by the time you even get there, if you go four and one in your last five, what are you playing for? I mean, after you open up with Carolina, Dak, 
Jalen Hurts, Kirk Cousins, Patrick Mahomes, Baker Mayfield, the Denver duo, Justin Herbert. I mean, you're going to be dead in the water by the time you get to December. So the thing that was a great benefit for you a year ago, the fact that you missed the best quarterbacks in the NFL, this year you have to play Mahomes. You have to play Jalen Hurts. You have to play Justin Herbert. You got to play Cousins twice. You got to play Dak on the road. You got to play Jordan Love in Green Bay. You got to play Matt Stafford. I don't like it, man. So, I understand there's some metrics that like the New Orleans Saints, like we went through earlier. But my eyes, what what I know, what you all know, tell a very, very different story. For whatever it's worth, ESPN ranked the quarterback rooms in the NFL. They got the Saints quarterback room ranked 22nd in the NFL. Sporting News has the Saints quarterbacks ranked 23rd. No, forgive me, this was last year. So going into last year, NFL.com had the Saints 16th. Pro Football Focus had the Saints 14th. Sporting News had the Saints 23rd last year. Now you're seeing them even lower. ESPN's got them at 22. Could everybody be wrong? Maybe. Probably not. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.